Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can customize the zoom features on your iPhone 11 or the 11 Pro running iOS 13 and uh, everything you need to know about it. Now first, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up and then tap on the settings icon. In uh, settings, you want to go down and tap on accessibility, then tap on zoom. Now at the top here, there is a zoom uh, switch. So. Uh, if you want to use zoom feature, you first need to uh, tap on the switch to turn it on. And you can see as soon as I tap on zoom features, it's um, straight away it goes into the zooming mode. So I'm just going to need to zoom it back out a little bit because the zoom is really big at the moment. Okay. Now to uh, zoom in and out, you need to use three fingers. If you double tap with three fingers, it will zoom in. If you double, uh, double tap again, it will zoom back out. Now you can also um, drag uh, using three fingers to move around the screen by double tap like this and now hold. So, so, so I'm not sure I have turned on. So I'm just going to go back out here. So do double tap and you can start to drag in and out. You can see in the screen will zoom in and out like so. So that is one of the way how you can control the zoom on your phone but then of course you've got other options as well how you can control the zooming on your phone. Now down here you've got the follow focus which you can switch on and off. If you switch it on you can also turn on um, smart typing. Now when smart uh, typing turns on you can see here if I start to um, type. Now if I'm going to zoom in you can see if um, the keyboard is here, it will go into a Windows. And if there's no keyboard, it will uh, zoom the entire screen. So now if I try to zoom in, you can see it will zoom in the entire screen. However, if um, if I start to start to have a type, if I start typing and the keyboard comes up, and if I try to zoom in, it will only just zoom in within the windows that I'm working on, and it doesn't uh, obstruct the keyboard, so I can continue to uh, type on the keyboard if I need to. I can also drag this uh, zoom window up and down uh, if I need it to. You can see here, I can drag it across, up or down. And so that's what smart typing is all about. So in here you can turn it on or off if you want. Then down here you've got um, keyboard shortcuts. So if you've got a keyboard, you can use this uh, shortcut. So you can turn on uh, keyboard shortcuts if you want it to. And with the keyboard, you can adjust the zoom level. You can toggle zoom using uh, some of the key on the keyboard. You can move the zoom windows. You can turn it on or off. Uh, you can switch the zoom regions. And you can also uh, temporarily toggle zoom. So those are the functions that if you have um, your phone connected for a keyboard. Now you got a zoom controller here. The zoom controller allows you to control how you zoom the screen uh, without using the three fingers technique. So you can uh, use this controller here. You can see I can uh, simply zoom in by tapping on double tapping on this controller. So if I go back to the home screen here. And if I double tap on that, I can zoom in. Now if I simply just tap on it once, just like so, it will bring up this um, shortcut and I can increase or decrease the zoom size, as you can see. And I can also zoom out. So if I tap on that, I can also uh, change the zoom size, zoom out. I can choose the region. So I can choose to change whether it's uh, zooming the whole screen or zooming with a windows. Uh, zooming with a window is basically is this uh, window right here and I can just basically drag around and only zoom anything that is within that window as you can see right there. So I can choose regions uh, if it is within windows I can change resize the lens so you can I can see you can see that I can resize this lens right here and then I can drag it around to drag it around you need to simply tap onto this uh, uh, this uh, one knob right here at the bottom right there and then you just drag it around and that's it so this this controller can be uh, hidden or you can show it so tap on high controller or show controller to bring it uh, to high or show it so I'm just going to close the windows and there it is so that is the show controller so once this controller is on you can also 
uh, customize how uh, this controller works. So for example, it says single tap will show the menu. So if you don't want to show the menu, if you just tap on it once, you can choose none. Oh, you can say show the menu. You can see here say uh, if I tap on it, zoom in you know, or out, but it's been disabled. I think this is because it's already been uh, set to double tap. So if I choose none, and if I go back here, single tap, I can choose zoom in you know, or out. So if I tap on it now, you can see I can uh, simply zoom in. If I tap on it, it will zoom out. So you can choose to um, single tap to show the menu or zoom in or out or speak to touch. And there it is, so I'm going to choose the default, that's the default right there. And then if you double tap on it, you can choose zoom in or out. So if I double tap, I can zoom in or out. And finally, you can also choose what you can do with uh, triple tap. Uh, for example, at the moment it's set to none, you can say uh, speak to touch. And then also down here, you can also enable, disable, adjust zoom level. So double tap and slide the controller to adjust the zoom. So you can see here it's been turned off if I turn it on. And then if I double tap, I can slide to control the zoom. And I'm just going to go back here. And then I'm just going to go to the zoom region instead of the window zoom. I'm going to choose full screen. And if I double tap on it, I can control the zoom as you can see. So let's go back to the home screen. Just going to close that. And then what I want to do is just go to this screen here. And if I double tap, it will go zoom in. And then I can slide, I tap on this uh, zoom controller to start moving around the screen in a zoom mode. Now, if you want to move this um, zoom controller, you can just uh, first you need to get out and then just tap on it and then start to drag around the screen like so so that's uh, zooming in and then that's zooming out and I think if you just quickly tap on and hold and then you can just quickly zoom and then when you let go the zoom will go back to normal so that is another way how you can uh, zoom in or out Okay, let's go back into the settings. So we're now back into the accessibility into the zoom settings screen. And in here you can also choose zoom region. So whenever you turn on zoom, it can um, auto automatically zoom the whole window or the whole screen. Otherwise you can just choose uh, to zoom uh, within the windows that you have selected. So that's a zoom window right there. So if I double tap on it, it will zoom within these windows. And again, you can uh, resize uh, the zoom windows by simply choosing resize lens. Okay, now I'll get out of that. So you've got the zoom filter. So down here is the zoom filter. So basically the zoom filter is um, allowing you to change the color while you are in a zoom mode. So you can have uh, inverted zoom. You can choose um, grayscale. You can see you can choose grayscale, we can choose uh, grayscale inverted or low light, so you can choose uh, zoom low light, so you can control that as well, uh, down to the color. And you can see here, even though I choose uh, inverted color, but it's only when it is zoom in. Uh, if I uh, go back out, there's no uh, color changes outside of the zooming uh, window. And that is a uh, zoom filter. And down here you can choose maximum zoom level. So you can control how much zooming you need. And down here I choose a uh, maximum uh, 15 times the zooming size. So if I go on here, if I tap on these controllers, I can increase and you can see it's now it's getting really big uh, in here. So zoom right really big and it's really hard to see when it's too big as well. So you might not need to go all the way to the right. And maybe that's just a good size right there. You can see, you can change. So you can change how, how, how much zooming you need uh, on this uh, bar here. Or you can also change it from the controller here as well. And I'm just going to close that, get out of it. And that's it. So that is everything you need to know about zooming. Um, 
is quite extensive. You can do quite a lot of things with uh, with uh, zooming. You can have different way how you can control the zooming features. And if you no longer need it, you can simply just uh, switch it off. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.